In our previous video lecture, we talked about the eight basic trigonometric identities. In this video lecture, we're going to talk about the Pythagorean tri trigonometric identities, of which there are three. Our objective, therefore, we want to define those three Pythagorean trigonometric identities. Okay, let's talk about what we know that's going to assist us here. We know the definitions of the six trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, tangent, and their reciprocals, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. And we know what the Pythagorean theorem is. Given a right triangle, the Pythagorean theorem states that the, the length of one leg squared plus the length of the second leg squared is equal to the length of the hypotenuse squared. All right, let's come up here. We'll make use of that. And I'm going to draw just a, a quick picture to see what we're talking about here. So I'm just going to draw a, uh, I'll draw a, a vector. And there's our angle theta. And we know that uh, this, this distance here is the uh, distance on the, is the x component or uh, yeah, is, is identified by the, the length on the x-axis. This is the horizontal. The vertical is the y component. And the length of the vector, its magnitude, we're call, we've called r. Okay. So here is our, here is our point x, y. Okay. Okay. So we, we're looking, we're going to use this, this diagram. Um, and you can see this, of course, is a right triangle. There's my right angle. This diagram is going to assist us in coming up with the three Pythagorean trigonometric identities. Okay. So what do we know? This is a right triangle, so we know the Pythagorean theorem. Leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared, and I've identified the legs as x and y, and the hypotenuse at r. Now I'm going to play with this a little bit, and I'm going to divide both sides by r squared. So I'll divide the right side by r, by r squared, and I'll divide the entire left side by r squared, which means that each of the pieces, each of the terms is divided by r squared. Okay, so this one is going to be x over r squared. Okay, I can rewrite x squared over r squared as x over r squared. I can rewrite y squared over r squared as y over r squared. And of course, r squared over r squared is just one. So what is x? Well, when it comes to theta, x is the adjacent side. So I'm gonna rewrite x as the adjacent side. r, of course, is the hypotenuse. So the adjacent over the hypotenuse squared plus, well, y is the opposite side when we look at theta plus the opposite side over the hypotenuse squared equals one. And now we go up to here. Well, the adjacent over the hypotenuse is the definition of our cosine. So this is the cosine squared of theta. The opposite over the hypotenuse is the definition for sine. So this is the sine squared of theta equals one. And that is our first trigonometric, excuse me, our first Pythagorean identity. Most people uh, write it this way, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals one. And that is our first trigonometric, Pythagorean trigonometric identity. A uh, note here. We'll just put this at the bottom because I'm going to make use of this space over here. Note that, uh, it's just a notation in mathematics, sine squared theta is the same thing as writing the sine of theta squared. Those two are identical. Oh, you can't even see that on my paper. That's better. Okay, a note here. This is, this is the uh, sine of theta squared. 
the two is written between the sine and the theta, and it's the same thing as the sine of theta squared. Those two are the same. Okay, let's go back now and let's take a look at the other two possibilities. So let's take my same Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And this time, let's divide everything by x squared. So I'll divide everything on the left side by x squared. And I'll divide everything on the right side by x squared. Well, x squared divided by x squared is 1. Now that's kind of nice. y squared divided by x squared I can rewrite as y divided by x squared. r squared divided by x squared I can rewrite as r divided by x squared. I'm sure you can see where this is going because I've got a pattern over here. Uh, I'm going to follow the same pattern. Obviously the 1 stays. The y is the opposite side. So this is opposite. The x is the adjacent side. So this is adjacent and that's squared. The r again is the hypotenuse. The x is the adjacent squared. Let me make my equal sign a little clearer. And so I can look now at my definitions. Opposite over adjacent. If I come up to here, opposite over adjacent is tangent. Okay, so this is 1 plus the tangent squared. And hypotenuse over adjacent I go back up here again, hypotenuse over adjacent is equivalent to secant. So I'll come back down to here, and so this is equal to the secant squared. And so this is the second Pythagorean identity. 1 plus the tangent squared is equal to the secant squared. And we divided everything by r, we divide everything by x, what's left? We'll take the same Pythagorean theorem equation, and this time we'll divide everything by y squared on both sides. And I'll rewrite x squared over y squared as x over y squared. y squared divided by y squared is 1, and I'll rewrite this as r over y squared. And you, you're now ahead of me, I'm sure. You see the pattern x over y. x is adjacent, y is opposite. So this is adjacent over the opposite squared. Um, let's see here. This is plus 1. And this is going to be, uh, this is the hypotenuse over the opposite squared. Okay, now adjacent over opposite. Go back up to my definitions. Adjacent over opposite is the cotangent. So, look at this if I have room. I think I do here. So this is the cotangent of theta squared plus 1. The hypotenuse over the opposite is the cosecant right here. So I can rewrite this one as equals the cosecant of theta squared. And this is my third Pythagorean identity right there. This is the one they're all based off of. Um, you, can, uh, you, can do, you can do the set. You can go from here to here and here. Divide both sides by sine squared. You'll get to these two. Divide both sides by cosine squared. So this is the key one right here. This is the one that everybody memorizes because you can go from here to here and go from here to here as necessary. But these three Pythagorean theorem, uh, excuse me, Pythagorean trigonometric identities come into play a lot with trigonometry. Uh, one other thing I'll mention is, you know, this can be rewritten. So you could say sine squared equals one minus cosine squared. It's the same identity. We just subtracted cosine squared from both sides. You could say secant squared minus tangent squared equals 1. Same identity. Just move some things left to right as necessary. 
Okay, we'll make use of those uh, in the next uh, few video lectures.